Dear learner, I am Dr. Muhammad Habibur Rahman, Faculty School of Science and Technology, Bangladesh Open University. Today I am here to discuss with you regarding the weekly lesson 5 and the topic is Tools of Measurement and Scope in Epidemiology. And the learning objectives of weekly lesson 5, upon completion of the week 5, you will be able to describe different tools of measurement, discuss the importance of rate, ratio and proportion. And finally, you can calculate rate, ratio and proportion as well. Now, I am discussing with you the mortality rate. So, mortality rate is the incidence rate where event measured is death. It means that whenever people are li living in a community, how many people usually die per year? So, it has been counted by year. So, in the mortality rate, an important term is crude mortality rate. So, it is also known as crude death rate. So, it can be calculated by number of deaths from all causes divided by the total population. So, one equation I am describing to you. Please look at the slide and you will have a good idea. Annual mortality rate for all causes per 1000 population equal to total number of death from all causes in a year divided by number of person in the population at the mid year multiplied by 1000. So, from this formula, you can calculate the mortality rate in a particular community. And it's also important to share why we want to study the mortality rate. Mortality rate can serve as a measure of the disease severity. So, it indicates that if a group of people or people living in the society or country usually die due to a severely affected uh, disease condition. Example, this year a lot of people die due to the dengue fever. So, here it is important to study how we can prevent the transmission of the Aedes mosquito and how we can prevent the presence of the flavivirus which is responsible for the development of dengue fever. And secondly, determine whether the treatment for a disease has become more effective over time. So, it means that you know that for the treatment of bacteria, a lot of antibiotics have been uh, invented and they are processed. Uh, for example, there were first generation, second generation, third generation and fourth generation antibiotics. So, it means that the generation is upgraded due to the changing nature of the disease process. So, mortality rate helps to identify the differential treatment options as well. And surrogates for the incidence rate when the disease being studied is a severe and lethal one. So, it is also, also important thing to study for the mortality rate as well. So, thank you very much for your patience hearing and I expect that you enjoyed a lot from today's lecture.